Wicked by Gregory Maguire. After the forgettable welcome remarks, as couple by couple the students and Amaz left to locate their lodgings and settle in, Galinda found herself growing pale with embarrassment. Ama Clutch, the old fool, would have fixed her up nicely with someone just a notch or two above on the social ladder, near enough that Galinda would suffer no shame and above enough to make it worth the while of socializing. But now all the better young misses were linked together, diamond to diamond, emerald to emerald, for all she could tell. As the room began to empty, Galinda wondered if she shouldn't go up and interrupt Madame Morrible and explain the problem. Galinda was, after all, an Ardunia of the uplands, at least on one side. It was a hideous accident. Her eyes teared up. But she hadn't the nerve. She stayed perched on the edge of the fragile, stupid chair. Except for her, all the center of the room had cleared out, and the shyer, more useless girls were left, around the edges, in the shadows. Surrounded by an obstacle course of empty gilded chairs, Galinda alone sat like an unclaimed valet. "'Now the rest of you are here without a maz, I understand,' said Madame Morrible, a bit sniffily. "'Since we require chaperonage, I will assign each of you to one of the three dormitories for freshers, which sleep fifteen girls each. There is no social stigma to the dormitory, I might add, none at all.' But she was lying, and not even convincingly. Galinda finally stood up. "'Please, Madame Morrible, there is a mistake!' I am Galinda of the Ardunias. My amma took a nail in her foot on the voyage and was detained for a day or two. I am not in the dormitory class, you see. How sad for you, said Madame Morrible, smiling. I'm sure your amma will be pleased to be a chaperone in, shall we say, the pink dormitory? Fourth floor on the right. No, no, she would not, interrupted Galinda quite bravely. I am not here to sleep in a dormitory, pink or otherwise. You have misunderstood. I have not misunderstood, Miss Galinda said Madame Morrible, growing even more fish-like as her eyes began to bulge. There is accident, there is tardiness, there are decisions to be made. As you were not equipped, through your ma, to make your own decisions, I am in power to make them for you. Please, we are busy, and I must name the other girls who will join you in the pink dormitory.